Hello my YouTube subscribers. Before I start this video I've got a little update on this Nightcore NU25 but before I start it I need to give this company a shout out. It's a company called Snow Pete. I had uh, one of these light Max that the uh, one of these little legs here fell off so I sent it back for repair and uh, Heck, they sent me a brand new one. <laughs> so customer service is great. Thank you for that. Now to this night core. This is this is turned into my go-to headlamp. Uh, I'm completely satisfied with it, but I had one con that I wouldn't wasn't happy with. Now I'm, it wasn't the light itself. This little thing here, I don't know, it ain't an ounce maybe. But it, this wasn't the issue. What it was was this big headband. It seemed like it was almost overkill. And uh, so what happened, what I didn't like about it was this little loop here. Every time, it's not like a hat where you can adjust it and you can put it on, take it off, put it on. This particular thing, you'd have to, you'd have to adjust it every time, every time you wanted to put it on you take it off and then see this loop here this loop was too loose it just it just had to adjust it every time of course i guess you could have pinned it or sewn it here so you wouldn't have to deal with that but they thought it out pretty good it had a it had a nice uh this part here if you can see it it had it's not a sweat band i think it's a non-slip band is what it uh, what i think it is of course you can call it a sweat band but they thought it out and of course you see it don't slide because of that particular whatever that is a little you can see it right there but the the biggest issue was it just it just seemed like it was overkill for someone did mention a company that made a hack they made this out of shock cord and it comes with the bracket and everything is i think it was 895 i'll type in the i'll type in the name of the company here if you're interested it was $8.95 plus shipping and I had I bought two one Mike P Hiker wanted one so what it was we bought this now it's easy enough it's easy enough to put this on and like that and it seemed like this here once you once you put it on you see and uh The only thing is it may, <laughs> it may leave creases in your head, but you don't have to keep readjusting it. You follow me? And uh, took a little weight off, I guess. That wasn't the purpose. It just, it just seemed like this was just overkill. But anyway, so I wanted to update you on that, and I did type in the company you can order one from. Now, oh, it's also rechargeable. And I also noticed most of the channels that I watch and subscribe to most all the through hikers, most all the backpackers. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say most all, but it seemed like the trend was they went to rechargeable stuff. Of course, the phone that I'm using to record this, I have to recharge it. Now, here was another thing I was just gonna mention. This is a tor. I I guess it's a it's a lamp, a lantern, a lamp. But um, we use it. It's called Go Zero Lighthouse. It's twenty dollars, but it's rechargeable. It's a rechargeable <laughs> USB port. But anyway, um, we use this on our tarp because we get to the campsite late in the evening, and we hang it. And we don't have to wear headlamps. We can turn it on. It's pretty bright, and of course, you can. After we finish supper, um, I like to hang it uh, on a tree or something not directly outside my tent especially on a night when the moon is not visible and it's kind of dark i like to have something in the area that at least if i wake up i can tell i'm in my tent i don't want it bright but enough that i can wake up and feel oh okay i'm in my tent <laughs> and uh but anyway at last it has four led indicators and it you know, after using it under the tarp and leaving it all, all night, it still has the four indicators. It's pretty good, pretty good rechargeable deal. Now, now next thing is, of course, I noticed the, a lot of these through hikers, they carry a big brick or battery pack. Uh, they call it a brick, but some of them have a half a brick. 
but since I'm just a weekend and uh, possibly like a Thanksgiving weekend when we can work four days in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but most of the time it's just a weekend, Friday and Saturday. And I found this, uh, this, this is a candy bar size uh, bank that I use. It's, it's made by Anchor and um, it's uh, 6,700 milliamps, milliamp hours, which gives me three or four recharges for my phone. But anyway, I carry this <laughs> simply because it's just a weekend and I don't need the big, the big huge uh, uh, brick or even a half a brick. I have a half a brick. And on uh, four day weekends, I will take it instead of this, but most of the time this does the job for me. Now, for you you guys that stuck around to the end of this video, I want to introduce you to something I found on uh, Amazon. And this is, this is a little teeny, let's see what it's called. It's called, a, it's made by a company called Castino. I'll type it in here for you portable mini pocket card now it doesn't necessarily go with backpacking but it it is um it has you plug it right into your usb port and it goes either way you don't have a it's not a key so it, either way you just plug it in and you turn it on you touch the back and it comes on i don't know if you can see that and you touch it and it goes goes well if you hold your finger on it, it gets brighter and brighter or less and less to wherever you want it but uh and touch it and it goes off but this this i felt like could go in your ditty bag it doesn't weigh i think it's in the gram gram scale not even an ounce but put it in your ditty bag you might find it useful if you need light of course you can keep these around the house also in case of power failures but the best thing about them <laughs> the 99 cents i bought three of them and um, I keep one in my ditty bag and I give one to Mike P. Hiker and I keep the other one around around the house case of power phase. But anyway, they're 99 cent, they're not prime, so you're gonna have to wait, they come from China. So you're gonna have to wait maybe two weeks to get them. But I think there's 99 cent shipping and I think they come in a pack of three, I'm not sure, but I ordered three of them. And I think it ended up costing me $6, almost five, 97 or something like that uh, two dollars a piece counting shipping but it's just an interesting little thing and it's got a long name but i'll type it in here for you again in case it's something you're interested in anyway thanks for watching i kept it as short as possible the video that is